Hello everyone and thank you for watching this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make bendy type objects in Roblox Studio without the use of Blender. Some of you might know that a few days ago I made a tutorial on how to make bendy objects in Roblox Studio using Blender, but the thing is, a lot of you don't know how to use Blender. In fact, I didn't know how to use it well until just a couple of weeks ago, so I'm going to make a tutorial on how you can create a bending object type illusion inside of Roblox Studio without Blender. All you are going to need to do this is an R6 rig and the rig edit plugin which you can get in the toolbox by going to plugins and searching up rig edit. You can also get an R6 rig by either using the character creating plugin or you can just go to the toolbox and search it up. You can make really anything with this but I'm just going to make a simple cape. If you're following along just insert a part into the game and we're going to rename it to cape template because we are going to replace this with a bendable illusion later. So just make it whatever color you want. You can make it complicated. I'm just gonna make it nice and simple. Scale it to the size you want. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna move it to where you want it to be on the rig. Once you've figured out the cape size and position, here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna drag it onto the ground and then you're going to wanna change the transparency to 0.5. You'll see why we have to do this in a second. Then you're going to select it and you're going to duplicate it and you're going to scale its duplicate down to a smaller size just like this. Then change the transparency of the duplicate to zero. Basically what we are doing is we're constructing the cape out of smaller parts that we can animate smoothly to give the illusion of bending. So just keep duplicating and moving the smaller parts until you fill up the shape of the cape. You can keep the parts names how they are right now, although I think it looks messy, so I'm just going to rename each cape to like Cape 1, Cape 2, Cape 3 in the order that they are created. That way I can keep track of the parts that I'm animating and the parts that I'm moving around. Okay, now that I have all of them names, I'm going to select all of them and then I'm going to go up and union them. Uh, you don't need to name the union anything because this is just so we can get the cape back into the position we want. Once that's done, you're going to go to the Explorer window, and then you're going to drag the union inside of the rig. Then, there, you can separate it so that each individual part is there in the exact same position that you need it to be. When that's done, you're going to select your rig, go to Plugins, and then open Rig Edit. There, you will see a skeleton-like structure inside of the rig, which is all the welds and joints inside of him that like keeps him together and allows his arms and limbs to bend and be animated. To attach the top of the cape to the torso, click on the torso, hold down control command if you're on Mac, and click cape 1. After that, you're going to select create joints in the rig edit GUI. You can use those black dots right there to move around the joint, and you're going to want to move it right to where the cape and the body connects. Oh, first you're going to want to change the steps to zero so that it can move smoothly, and then put it right there, right where the top of the cape and the torso connect to each other. Once you've got that done, you're going to want to select Cape 1, hold down Control, and then click Cape 2, then Create Joints. Then you're just going to move it to right where the place is that the two parts of the cape connect. Then you're going to click on Cape 2, hold down Control, click Cape 3, and then click Create Joints. You're just going to do that all the way down so that each part of the cape is connected. We are finally done building the cape and rigging it. Now you can close Rig Edit Lite. Go back to the plugins window and select the animation plugin. Then you're going to select the character that you just created. Name the animation whatever you want. Now you will be able to rotate the parts of the cape and animate them just like you animate the limbs of a normal Roblox character. And as you can see, if you do it smoothly and do it little by little throughout the cape, it looks like it's actually bending just like it would if you made it in Blender. This is the technique that I used to animate the cape of a character NPC that I'm going to use in my upcoming TDS game that I'm working with a couple other developers on. It is a lot of work, but when it's all done, it's really worth it and it can help you give cool illusions of bending without having all the trouble of making it in Blender. I'm going to see if I can make a cool animation out of this real quick. Well, oh no, that that's bad. That's That's really bad. I'm definitely far from the best animator out there, but that's the cool part. You can really animate it any way you want because it's your character now. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this video helps. Goodbye!